are you guys? Welcome, how are you? Isn't this the production version at this point? Uh, more or less. I'm calling it a proto because there are a few things that are different between the production version and my version. Uh, but as far as how it'll work, yes. Does that make sense? Um, so it's kind of in between the two. When is the group buy? So this is an in-stock sale. Uh, this will be in-stock starting April 18th. All right. So here we have the plates, the PCB, red, like the production one. So we're building a hot swap one today. Um, we did that so I can hopefully try different switches in this for the typing test video that I'm planning on doing. That, ooh, that red is nice. So this is a... This is one of the more sparkly anos. I prefer more matte anno, but that's totally personal preference. I like this weight. It almost looks pre-patinaed. <laughs> There's the back. This camera should be reasonably color accurate. It does pull a bit pink. I can't get that to not happen. So this red is a little bit more warm in person, but other than that, that's fairly close. All right, so there's the butt. There's the side shot. We're getting all the all the all the shots out of the way. I'm sorry, my camera isn't focused. I have to hand focus it, but that should give you a decent idea of what that looks like. So the one thing that they did want me to tell you guys is that this epoch badge that you see right here. So this is epoch. You can't tell really. Is removable if you want it to be. So let's cut it nice. All right. So we have this foam for underneath the PCB. This for between the PCB and the plate. And this foam, sorry, could you help me really quick? I'm so sorry. One question. Does this go on top or underneath? Two layers between? Okay, so this goes on the underneath. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. so like this. These two between? Top between switch and PCB. Perfect. All right, got it. First, we're gonna go ahead and just prep the PCB and plate. Um, I'm going to, ooh, this is actually orange, what? <laughs> I know it's pulling kind of red again on camera, but it's actually kind of orange in person. How many of each color? They are specifically not disclosing that so that they, the, the um, aftermarket prices don't get crazy. So if I remember correctly, I have to put this foam on before installing the stabilizers. I feel like calling this foam, I mean, it is foam, but it's a bit of a misnomer. It is extremely thin. I would say this is almost thinner than a sheet of paper. It's it's really thin. What's your favorite membrane keyboard? Your mum. I hope you do more stream edits on your YouTube channel. I like the editing style. Thank you. I wish I could take credit, but I do hire an editor. Is he here? Cinder, are you here? He was with us yesterday. Bless him, he kills it. Yeah, I will say the worst thing about the icky is the fact that it's icky to get switches into. <laughs> or more out of it than into, but yeah. Loving your increased activity on Instagram. Hey, thanks, me too. It's a lot of work. If you wanna help me out, use the affiliate links, please, dear God. Is that brass polished? No, it is definitely sandblasted. It's PVD brass with a matte coat. Is it? Is there another screw somewhere or am I just being too gentle? Probably the latter. I'll just, yeah. Cha-cha. All right. So we have a little bit of silicone here, like that to fill out the gap. Daughter board. Such an interesting daughter board too. All right. So we'll pull the silicone a little bit. Looks like we have some hex screws there. And the daughter board screws in, so we probably have to remove that as well. Okay, I have one complaint about the jelly. Literally one. Bear with me. This is too many screwdrivers. <laughs> you want the average person to buy this keyboard. I think we're at like five different drivers. <laughs> like, it's okay to have this many screws. Like, my issue isn't with the number of screws. It's the different types of screws. <laughs> All right, so here's our daughter board. I'm not seeing any scratches, Merlin, so I think that's just you. Again, assuming that you're talking about the solder mask, it, it looks fine. It is a little bent though, but that happens a lot with PCBs, so I can't exactly get mad and it means nothing, so. What is a daughter board? A daughter board is kind of like an extension of a PCB. Usually it's connected to the main PCB with like a, a, a ribbon cable or a, a J 
Fuck. <laughs> Why am I blanking on it? A JST connector. But yeah, it's usually just used to kind of extend the PCB in a way that it wouldn't otherwise go. They're really, really common, especially in things like controllers. Uh, or uh, sometimes phones use them too. For keyboards, they're generally only used to adjust the position of the USB port. Does this unit have the silicone instead of the PC diffuser? I can answer that for you. <laughs> I would accept Jihon's wet slippers if you were to sell. I'll let him know. <laughs> Put it on the plate, not on the case, but I can just squish the case in, uh, the plate in, right? My bad should have said it early? No, it's no big. It's like two seconds. So the little tabby things, do they go on the top or the bottom? I forget how I took this out, so that would be helpful. So the pyramid thingy face you? Okay. Chill. That actually didn't clear anything up at all, so <laughs> It was explained on the Geek Hack thread? Yeah, but then I'd have to spend 10 minutes reading the Geek Hack thread, but instead I could be roasting y'all for like four minutes, finding out I'm wrong, and just spend another four minutes. So overall, we come out with better content and it taking less time to just do it myself. Wow. wow! Someone's reading out chat into her secret earpiece. Caught me. We're extraordinarily high production around here. Or someone feeding me lines. This isn't even really me. I'm fake. This is all virtual reality. This is all fake. I'm not actually building this. This, these are somebody else's hands. Uh, it's just really good uh, CG. I'm just putting it together. These whites just seem more beige. Nani. All right, so we took off that, took off that. Next is this. Next is this. Next is not this. Next is this. Wait, is next this? With as many parts as there are, I am trying to be extra careful to make sure that I screw in everything appropriately. Um, I could see where, again, with this many parts, it would be very easy if you don't to have some rattle going on, which you wouldn't want. So don't over tighten. Oh, fuck, that's the wrong screw. Um, don't over tighten, but do do generally be aware. Just kind of good keyboard advice in general, though, isn't it? What does keyboard foam do? It dampens the sound uh, and especially helps with hollowness. But mostly, it, you know, in a board of this price, I would hope it's really just to give it like that particular foam sound. Uh, I accidentally left this out, but we're gonna leave it out if that's all right, because I won't pull this part again. <laughs> okie dokie, okie dokie. Yeah, the weight's really good. I will say I don't love the font. And I don't like the cherry motif that's kind of on the top as well. But those are like design and personal taste things. And so again, like really small. I'm so excited to type on this. You may have the rest of this chat full, but I know you use an Apple Magic keyboard off stream. We're not supposed to talk about that. You're not supposed to talk about that. Here we go, chat. So this is the Jelly Epoch with creams that have been linked with 205 grade zero. Um, it has the foam, both pieces, the really thin and the thicker piece between the PCB and the plate, no other foam. Uh, here we go. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> I'm really sorry. All right, let's get hammer fingers in here. He's ignoring me, chat. Excuse me. Hold on, I'm gonna yell. Cover your ears. Alan! What? Could you come do a typing test, please? Sure. Thank you. Works every time. Here we go. 
Oh my god. I think the end is stop at 10. Yeah. Sorry. We're gonna get a fat zero on this, but it sounds really nice. That's a very nice sounding board. There's a cat. <laughs> oh, this is a very nice sounding board. Did you use the standoffs? No. This is a really, really, really fun to type on and it sounds really good and I want to take out that foam. How do you like the feel? Very excellent. I love some flex. This is a lot of flex. 10 out of 10. Butt two, please. Okay. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No, you depraved fucks. Um, there's the booty. So I'm trying to keep it in focus. <laughs> there you go. It's quite heavy as well, for those of you who care about that. No, I'm not wearing it. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go enjoy my dinner. Okay. Bye.